Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Before we get into proof of stake or proof of work, or any type of consensus mechanisms, we must first understand what their main objective is. Today we will talk about 10 different consensus mechanisms, and before we get into any of those we must first understand what a consensus mechanism or algorithm is, and what is the main objective of each consensus mechanism. Let's begin with what a consensus algorithm is. A consensus algorithm is the result or results of a group of people agreeing on decisions to be made for updating on a system where everyone's vote is equal. In blockchain all members of a community must vote on changes and upgrades on a network with a 51% scale of votes being the decision maker. For an algorithm to reach consensus all network participants must agree on a one decision. Getting a no-conflict group decision has been historically unlikely. A consensus mechanism or algorithm is needed to avoid centralization and member conflicts. In a decentralized network, the consensus mechanism distributes the right to update and validate changes equally among independent nodes. This will decide the next decentralized network update. A consensus algorithm synchronizes members' pro-democracy or centralization. Each network member has equal decision-making power with decentralization. Therefore, network members, or nodes, must agree globally on new system changes. Each participant in a blockchain shares the same copy of network transactions, keeping them synchronized and connected. At least 51% of network participants must agree on a change using consensus protocols. Upon agreement, the network is updated the change is rejected otherwise. Moving on to the 10 consensus mechanisms we will dive into today will be proof of work or POW, proof of stake, POS, delegated proof of stake, DPOS, proof of importance, POI, proof of capacity, POC, proof of elapsed time, POT, proof of activity, POA, proof of authority, POA, proof of burn, POB, Byzantine fault tolerance, BFT, the first consensus mechanism is proof of work, POW, system, or protocol, or function, is a consensus mechanism that was first a more prehistoric concept than what it is now. It was developed by Cynthia Dwork and Moni Nair as presented in 1992 at an annual international cryptography conference titled Pricing via Processing or Combating Junk Mail. Then later published in 1993. Years later in 1999 it was later extended or further developed by Marcus Jacobson and Ari Jules in a book series for the International Federation for Information Processing. The section was titled Proofs of Work and Bread Pudding Protocols, Extended Abstract. The term proof of work was first used by Marcus and Ari in a 1999 publishing. However the first person or persons to implement it in the Bitcoin white paper in 2008 was the infamous Satoshi Nakamoto. Proof of work allows miners to add a new block to the network depending on the computation done to determine the right block hash. This is done so that the network can continue to function. Proof of work is one of the more well-known consensus algorithms, and Bitcoin makes use of it. In this step, miners are tasked with doing intensive mathematical computations in order to find a correct hash by modifying the block's nonce. The miner who discovers the hash that is lower than the required difficulty level is awarded the opportunity to have his block added to the network. Therefore, you are entitled to the award. Utilizing a significant amount of computer power, this puzzle-friendly method leads to the desired result of reaching consensus. After that, participants who are already active in the network get their valid transactions added to the block by the miner. Proof of stake will be the second consensus technique that we talk about. Proof of stake, POS, was initially presented in a paper by Sonny King and Scott Nadal in 2012. The purpose of the paper was to find a solution to the issue of the excessive amount of energy that Bitcoin mining consumes. PP coin, 
Peer-to-Peer -peer Cryptocurrency with Proof of Stake was the title of the paper that was presented. Sonny and Scott proposed an alternate technique to adding blocks called staking, in which a deterministic process would choose nodes depending on the amount of coins an individual held, as opposed to relying on the energy-dependent activity of miners for adding blocks. Miners are responsible for adding blocks. If we look at it another way, those that stake more coins in their wallets will have a greater likelihood of being chosen to add a block to the chain and receive the reward for doing so. They anticipated that, by doing so, they could avoid the ever-increasing difficulties of mining hash rates and the rising prices of energy. However, their newly developed technique for reaching consensus was not devoid of its own problems. Staking is a process that's used in proof-of-stake, and it requires users to put some of their money in escrow in order to be eligible for block addition. The enormous amount of energy required by POW is no longer necessary thanks to consensus. Staking is a process that's used in POS, and it requires miners, or validators, to keep some of the coins they've earned in the network in order to be considered for adding a block. It is not an algorithm for reaching an initial consensus for a network. It won't be possible to put into action until a sufficient number of users have joined the network or nodes. A family of blockchain networks consensus techniques known as delegated proof of stake, abbreviated as DPoS, is the third type of consensus mechanism we will talk about. For the purpose of resolving disagreements in a manner that is acceptable to all parties involved, it makes use of witnesses or leaders, who are frequently referred to as delegates. In 2013, Dan Larimer devised the DPoS protocol in preparation for its incorporation into the BitShares blockchain. A voting system is used to validate transactions that have been signed by witnesses or block producers in order to maintain the integrity of the Bitcoin network. However, witnesses are unable to sign arbitrary blocks, and each block must have a previous witness who has already signed it. If witnesses do not deliver the evidence that is requested of them, they run the risk of losing their jobs on the network or the benefits that come with being a part of the network in the future. Voting for delegates is an addition that DPoS makes to the method that POS uses. At this point, individuals in the network cast their votes using their coins for the trustworthy delegates, also known as miners. Then, Based on a decision made at random, one of the voted delegates is given the opportunity to add to its block. Moving on to the fourth consensus mechanism. Proof of importance, sometimes known as POI, is a consensus technique that was first implemented by NEMNEM on their blockchain. POI is an extension of proof of stake that awards rewards to users who are actively engaged in network transactions. NEM was established to solve some of the problems with not just the world economy, but also with other cryptocurrencies, noted the primary developer called Makoto at the time. NEM was started to fix some of the problems with other cryptocurrencies. The unequal distribution of wealth is, of course, also one of the issues. The one-block harvester will be chosen by POI out of all of the participants based on their importance scores. Its goal is to eradicate any preferences shown toward wealthy stakeholders within the proof-of-stake consensus. Your quality of transactions and reputation inside the network both contribute to your overall significance score. In comparison to proof-of-work and proof-of-stake, proof-of-importance is an advancement that recognizes and rewards accounts that are engaged in economic activity. The relevance of an account is determined by combining several factors, including its balance, the people with whom it does business, and the volume of business it does with other people. The fifth and final consensus mechanism for today's part 1 video is proof of capacity, POC, is a consensus mechanism method that is used in blockchains. It enables mining devices in the network to use the available space on their hard drives to authenticate transactions and select who gets mining rights. The use of the processing capacity of the mining equipment, as in the proof-of-work algorithm, or the miner's stake in the cryptocurrencies, as in the proof-of-stake algorithm, is in contrast to this. Mining a block in a decentralized network is accomplished by POC by utilizing the disk or storage capacity. It does this by trading the amount of disk space for the computation factor. 
Miners are encouraged by the proof of capacity to compile a list of every conceivable nonce and block hash before beginning the actual mining process. During this time period, the miner is only responsible for uploading the calculated files of probable hashes to the network. The time needed to add transactions to the block and validate them is cut down significantly using POC. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. Stay tuned we are an active admin. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Never be afraid to voice your opinion. Tell us in the comments what you think, and give us some suggestions on what kind of content you'd like us to deep dive into. Until next time, good day, good night, and goodbye.